welcome to my channel today i'll be showing you how to crochet this beautiful stitch and it's called the half double crochet cluster stitch half double crochet cluster stitch it's a textured beautiful and will make a um, beautiful garment i'm currently experimenting with the stitch i've made a blanket and i'm doing a washcloth now for uh people to master the stitch and then we can make something beautiful with the stitch together let's go along for this tutorial we'll be using um uh, style craft uh worsted weight is a uh, number four weight yarn and a denim look it's a beautiful textured yarn it's 40 percent cotton 40 percent i am premium acrylic and we'll be using four millimeter crochet hook for the tutorial so let's get started so for this tutorial we we'll need to make a hot number of chains so whatever length you prefer to have our advice that you go in a multiple of two plus one so we can go 15 inches uh 15 chains we can go five chains you can go seven chains make it a hot number or a multiple of two plus one so let's go with 15 chains for this tutorial we'll make our chain 15 of those i have 15 chains now on my hook so we'll continue with the pattern and we'll work in single crochet in each of the chains starting from the second chain from hook and remember that we don't count the loop around our, yeah, our hook this is the first chain this is the second chain so i'll insert my hook in that pull up a loop yarn over and pull through that is single crochet so i'll do that in each of the chains across and that will give us 14 chains across so i said you need odd number of chains for this switch tutorial to work out properly be mindful of the length that you want to achieve you can easily customize this make your number of starting chains odd number that might be two plus one so at the end of the row we have 14 chains on 14 14 single crochet done we'll proceed to row two we'll turn our work and we'll chain our beginning chain so for row two we we'll go with chain three one two three this will count as half double crochet and a chain so chain two for half double crochet the third chain for chain one we yarn around our hook and we work in half double crochet three together for half double crochet three together we're going to insert our hook into the first stitch pull up a loop yarn around your hook insert into the next stitch yarn around your hook and insert into the third stitch yarn run over and pull through the seven stitches then you chain one so this is what it looks like half double crochet three together now we want to go ahead to work in a half double crochet cluster stitch for this we're going to insert hook into the next stitch sorry we we'll insert hook into this first last stitch from half double crochet three together ideally we're supposed to walk into the next stitch no but for half double crochet cluster stitch we'll be walking into that same loop that we finished walking into so you yarn over and insert into the next chain uh, stitch you have five stitches on your loop on your crochet hook yarn over insert into the third stitch so you have seven stitches on your hook yarn over and pull through the seven at once that is the first half double crochet cluster stitch done yarn run on is that's a chain one we'll continue to repeat half double crochet cluster stitch through all the stitches till the last stitch so to do that we insert our hook into this same stitch can you see that insert pull up a loop yarn round your hook insert into the next stitch yarn round your hook insert into the next stitch and then you pull over 
the seven loops. Can you see that? Then you chain one. Go over into doing the next half double crochet cluster stitch. We'll be inserting our hook as I stated into each of the last leg of the previous cluster stitch. See that? Yarn around your hook, pull over, yarn around your hook and pull over. And then you chain one. So you want to maintain a consistent tension so as not to have the stitches pulling through differently. So that is what it looks like. Insert hook, pull up, insert to the next and the third. And then you pull over and chain one. So we have one stitch left. We'll work in our last stitch into the stitch into the last stitch. That's half double crochet stitch. And we turn to work in the next stitch, the next row, which is row three. Chain one. And then you work in single crochet into each of the stitches. So this is our half double crochet that we just finished. We work in our first one into the chain stitch. We've worked in into the chain stitch into the next cluster stitch into the next chain one stitch. So that's what you continue to do throughout this row. So when you're working your single crochet stitches, be mindful not to miss a stitch. The cluster stitches are easy to miss and ignore, which will have make trouble. So the last row, we can't just leave this way. We need to make sure that we have 14 stitches so as not to add more than what we need or lower than lesser than what we need remember we counted the beginning th chain three space as when we started row two we made chain three i said the chain three stand uh for half double crochet and chain one so now we'll be working into the chain one and the half double crochet so we'll move into the next row which is row four we basically repeating the first set of um, rows, row three, row two, and row three. So we're doing working row two again as our row four, and we're working half double crochet three together. Pull through, and then chain one. The next thing to do is to work in a half double crochet cluster stitch which will be into these three stitches. One, let me make it clearer. Working it into this first stitch, second and third. Same as we did, yarn round your hook, insert into the first stitch, yarn round your hook, Insert into the next stitch, run around your hook, insert into the third, and you have seven stitches around your hook. Yarn around your hook and you pull through the seven at once. So we repeat this sequence till we are at the end of the row. You see that? That is how beautiful the stitch looks. Yarn round hook and pull through. See that? Chain one. And then we walk in a half double crochet in the last stitch. So, that is the beautiful um, stitch. That is how it looks like. So, you continue to repeat this sequence till you have your desired length. 
you walk in another row of single crochet, another row of half double crochet cluster stitch, and you alternate half double crochet cluster stitch and half double crochet stitch to have this beautiful look. I can't wait to see what you come up with and your own beautiful washcloths or squares that you made from this beautiful texture. I like to see what you come up with. There is a free tutorial for this written down on my blog. I'll post it down in the comments um, section. Thank you.